You've faced your demons in your mind. You were able to hear all your past traumas. You were able to listen to them. You're able to say, okay, now I can now talk to people about what I went through. I'm no longer embarrassed. I'm no longer ashamed. Being ashamed is one of the biggest things that people nowadays in their minds kill them from moving forward. I'm ashamed of myself. We are humans. But then again, if you always think that we're humans, you will always just be a human and always make the same mistake. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. But the one thing that is mobile is you. Your hopes, your dreams, your purpose. Get up again. Try again. Live again. Hope again. Touch other lives and leave your legacy. For the grave will wait for us all. But there's no reason for you to wait by the grave. Don't stop running towards your dream. It's very important as you hold on to that dream. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. It's very important for you to know that. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. Every man has two lives. And the second starts when he realizes he has just one. At some point in life, we got to wake up and we got to say no more. We got to wake up and we got to say, man, this is it. We got to wake up and say, I'm going to make a change, a difference. We can't just be online watching things, saying amen, you know, all the things and go back to the same things, y'all. It doesn't work like that. Hearing things is great, but you know what? Doing things and taking action, that's what's going to make change in your life. You need to start making some decisions. We ain't got to change everything, but you need to say, you know what? This is the one thing that I'm going to stop being loyal to. This is the one thing I'm going to start being loyal to. You've had enough disappointment. Sometimes your brain doesn't want to get disappointed, so it's a permanent problem. No problem is permanent. Only your soul is permanent. Nothing's forever. Everything changes. Everything eventually ends and something new begins. That's part of life. Those are the seasons of life. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. Some people are not equipped to handle the altitudes that you're going to. So don't be afraid when they fall off. They're not bad people. They just couldn't go where you're going. The man who loves walking will walk further than the man who loves the destination. When you love the journey, the goals just happen. You hit milestones as a side effect. Because it doesn't matter. At that point, I don't care if I can lift this much weight or run this fast. I mean, that's cool, but I don't love it as much as I love the journey. I love the journey. What does the journey consist of? Sucking at something, failing, getting better, learning, start it over, do it again. When you fall in love with the journey, everything else takes care of itself. You need to be able to trust your own work. And a lot of us don't because life is very convenient. It is easy for people to not stick to the promises that they set themselves because our ability to be idealistic is always going to outstrip reality's ability to deliver that to us. As soon as you posit an idea, you then begin to compare yourself to that idea. And true hell is when the person that you are meets the person that you could have been. You know what you have to do, so make yourself do it. You do that with discipline. Everyone wants some magic pill, some life hack that eliminates the need to do the work, but that does not exist. No. You have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. So, dig in. Find the discipline. 